Terry Galka from DAS. I'm holding the new MEL 8704R PSA. PSA stands for Programmable Sound Amplifier. Now in a moment, I'm going to go over some of the features. I'm going to, as you know, it's basically our standard MEL meter. We have EMF and temperature built into it. I'm going to fire it up right now. Hold the power button for about four seconds. It turns on, defaults with the light on. Temperature comes on. You can see it's 70.7 uh, in the room. We have a thermocouple up here. We've got a bank of lights here, which go to our new PSA feature. And that's really what I want to focus my attention on right now, is the PSA feature right here. So let's go into that. The PSA is designed to detect subtle sound level changes within the environment. We've introduced our PSA pod, and this is basically the same circuit incorporated into the chassis of, of the millimeter. Now, some really neat features about this is we do have on the side our zero and our sensitivity adjustment. The zero allows us to do a lot of things. It allows us to baseline. It allows us to take a running average and zero out background interference noises from, say, cars or small idle noises, perhaps from an air compressor in a, in a refrigerator to uh, air conditioning vents and so on. The sensitivity allows us to increase or decrease the sensitivity of the device in five steps. Simply by pressing the button, we can scroll through the different sensitivity levels. Now, a really cool feature I'm really proud of also is on the side of this, we have an earphone jack. The earphone jack allows the user to hear very subtle, low-level sounds within the environment. Now, don't misunderstand. Low-level low doesn't mean infrasound. It just means that if somebody's whispering or if there's some sounds within the environment, uh, they're going to be amplified by five to ten times. So that's the uh, earphone jack. And this also comes with uh, an earphone when you buy the device. On the back, we have our power for our PSA and our earphones right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the circuit by turning on the PSA. It beeped twice. That's a very simple diagnostic check that tests the circuit. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enable this. But before I do that, I want to first inform you that when you first turn it on, it's in what I refer to as the Simon mode. The Simon mode is basically a function that will detect sounds and convert them into audible tones and it will display the sound pressure level or the peaks, the peak, the magnitude of the sound wave on any one of the five lights here. So there's an example. I just heard a sound next door from one of our neighbors and it detected it and it jumped up here. That's an example of the Simon mode. When you first turn it on, the first thing you want to do is you want to hit the zero baseline button. And what that does is it takes the ambient sound levels and it begins to average it out. As I speak, you can see that's jumping to the various levels, the frequencies and the sounds coming from my mouth. You have to remember that somebody just sneezed and went to the peak in the back. That sound waves are vibrations. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the real-time mode here. This is the Simon mode. Next, I'm going to go to what I refer to as the real-time mode. To do that, I'm simply going to hold the zero button. And now what's happening is I'm detecting things in real time. And I've taken out and I've muted the tone so you don't hear that. In addition to this, I can adjust the sensitivity. So right now, I'm on sensitivity level 1. That's 2. As you can see, this right here indicates the level of the sensitivity. That's three, that's four, and that's five. So you can see how sensitive that is. If I just talk just a little bit, it's going to detect and react very, very simple. The other thing, too, is the microphone, which is located up here. This device uses a microphone as a front end, a transducer. It's right next to the millimeter flashlight. Now, what's cool about that is it's very susceptible to air movement over the top. You can just see me moving my hand, just that little bit of airflow. If anything manipulates this transducer clearly, it would go crazy. So this is the MEL PSA. I'm in the silent mode right now because I'm running in real time. The Simon mode, if I wanted to go back to it, just simply hold the zero. 
and we're back to getting different outputs based on my voice. Now I happen to have this amplified, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And right, that's about where it needs to be. That side's kind of tough when you make a video, so I'm going to just silence it for a minute. Now the other cool thing is I mentioned that we can tie a microphone into it. Well, you can take your earbud, snap it in there. It only needs one earbud. There's no, it's really not necessary to use two. Take your earbud, put it into your ear. Now before you do that, you have to activate it. So on the back is a switch for the earphone. You push that in and you simply adjust the sensitivity to amplify what comes through the earbud. You want to use one ear normally and you want to be able to increase the sound in your left or your right ear accordingly. Now this particular earphone has a volume adjustment in the line cord. So if you don't want it on, you slide it off. If you want it on again, you can increase it to the highest level. This is a real nice feature. So anybody who's hearing impaired or anyone who wants to be able to hear things at an elevated level, this is really going to come in handy. So this is the new Mel PSA from DAS, and it has all the same functions as the Mel meter with the added advantage of using the programmable sound amplifier.